uh, we had lots of action, a stronger US dollar in markets. And today we have Super Thursday and tomorrow's NFP. So let's, what, what happened? Why is the dollar stronger? Five reasons. First of all, ADP NFP came out as expected. Finally, no bad news. And then we had a beat. ISM non-manufacturing PMI came out way, way above expectations, uh, including the employment component. And that raises expectations for the non-farm payrolls. And for December hike, talking about December hike, we had the three top people at the Fed all being relatively upbeat. Yellen said December is live. Fisher is okay with inflation, they said in December is live. Dudley was a bit behind, number three, and also said December is live, but uh, sort of had some uh, worries also. Uh, but also, uh, in general, he's uh, lining up, and we have higher chances of a rate hike in the United States because, uh, and let's see here, this, these are the implied probabilities, 56% chance of rate hike. It was around 50-50 yesterday, okay? Uh, so that's why the dollar is stronger across the board. Um, in the UK, uh, it's not that strong against the pound because we had good figures also from uh, the UK yesterday. And today we're expecting Super Thursday, three events today in the UK, um, rate decision, meeting minutes of that rate decision, and the quarterly inflation report. I believe we'll have a slightly more hawkish uh, central bank uh, in the UK, uh, but the voting pattern isn't expected to change from 8 to 1. The Bank of England is likely to raise rates after the Fed, 153.60 to 155 is the current range in pound dollar. We talked about a stronger dollar, it's expressed very nicely in euro pound. Well, during the show, it's strengthened just a bit, but in general, we fell under 109. Next support, 108.10, um, which is really critical. Resistance, 109, 1010. Uh, sorry, 110. Uh, pound uh, yen rose, made a break above 121.50. Next resistance 122 one, and then 123. 120, 60 and 120 are lines of support. Dollar CAD uh, strengthening. Oil prices are falling stronger. US dollar. Tomorrow we have uh, Canadian figures. Um, so we're currently 131.50. Um, 132.40 is resistance, 131 support. Aussie dollar 71.35. We have the Australian uh, report. Monetary report later um, um, in the night. Um, 71.10, 70.60 support, 72 and 72.80 resistance. Kiwi dollar lost support at 66.15. Uh, further support, 65.30 resistance, 66.15 and 67. So uh, we have other main events today for the wrap today. We have um, Draghi speaking for the third time. Uh, let's see, you already heard the euro this week. And then in the second appearance, he didn't see anything monetary policy related. And at 12 GMT, we have the, all this Bank of England blitz continuing at 12.45 with the press conference by Carney. Lots of figures from the yesterday, but not that important as we, that we had yesterday. Jobless claims, unit labor costs, and more Fed speak. William Dudley at half past one, Fisher at uh, 10 past two, and Lockhart at 6.30. So lots of action going on. In markets, a uh, lot uh, stronger US dollar pound on the agenda today. Um, let's see if we continue seeing the strength. First week of the month is always busy. Yesterday was a very busy day. I believe today will be the same. And tomorrow we have the climax with the non-farm payrolls. 